Well, let's talk Kobe. Uh, Shaq, what will his legacy be? Uh, number one, the greatest Laker player ever. Uh, it was amazing that he played one franchise for 20 years, uh, did it his way, uh, you know, accomplished everything he set out to accomplish. Remember when he first come in, he said he wanted to be better than Michael Jordan. Like, young fella, hold up. But, you know, passed him up in points, uh, one championship less than what Mike has. But, you know, to be the greatest Laker ever, I think that's an amazing accomplishment. You, you know, they got Kareem, they got Wilt, they got Magic. So, you know, I think him going out as the greatest Laker ever and going out the way he did, I mean, I think it's, you know, a remarkable. Especially a guy that didn't go to college, came from high school. Yeah. And to accomplish all that coming from high school, not going to college, I think is great. What will be your lasting memory, Kenny? Whew, I, I think a lot, there's a lot, uh, but you know, the guy who shot three air balls his second game, uh, his second year in the playoffs, and then turns that into being the, one of the most clutch players in the history of the game, like the mental fortitude for that. But even more importantly, I think the Hur Hurricane Katrina game that I did uh, and that he played in uh, was just, you know, I saw a different side of him at that time, uh, a benevolent side, uh, also, I saw the competitor. We're on a bus, Ernie, true story. And this is a benefit for Hurricane Katrina. We, all day we've been giving out all yeah, kinds we of- were, Yeah, we yeah, were all there. All kinds of gifts and, and all kinds of things to make people's lives better. So I'm getting on the bus and I'm thanking everybody for coming and we're about to play the game and I appreciate you coming. He gets up in the middle of it and says, but I'm just letting y'all know I'm playing serious tonight. <laughs> and if you're not playing serious, I'm gonna hand it to you. I'm like, there he is. Yeah. Who does that with 12 other All-Stars sitting on the bus? But Kobe Bryant said, there's the competitive person, and that's why who he is. You know, the one thing about sports is the ultimate competition. You're competing against other guys. He's been the ultimate competitor. It's been a privilege and an honor for me to watch him play. You know, Shaq says something, you know, you come in, people forget those air balls and things. When he came in, he struggled in the beginning, then he turned into one of the 10 greatest players ever. Uh, he's an interesting guy. Uh, people, are, you know, because in, in our regular life, people are like, well, who is, how is this guy? How is this guy? And I can honestly say, I met Kobe probably 10 times in my life. He's always been cordial. He's always been somewhat friendly, but I don't know him at all. I think he's uh, been distant. I think it's been fun watching him let people see his personality this last year. Uh, but the bottom line is, uh, he's just been uh, one of the greatest players ever, and it's been an honor and a privilege. And you know what? Back when he announced this was going to be his final year, and we did the sit-down here in Atlanta when the Lakers came through town, and I just think he was so content, content with the decision, content with the fact that he was going out at this point on his on his terms, and and that was well. Uh, or, or let me let me pick it back on that a little bit. So I, they had me doing interviews, always talking about Kobe. And the guy asked me, and first of all, I wasn't as great as Kobe was. I was pretty good. And he says, what do you think Kobe feels? I said, he feels relief. Because Ernie uh, and Shaq, no disrespect to Kenny, Shaq can understand because he's, he was like, he's one of the greatest ever. It's such a humbling feeling when you can't play anymore. Yeah. Because uh, it, 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 the greatest thing when you're great, you're like, they can't do anything to stop me. And... You know, Shaq struggled his last couple of years. I struggled my last couple of years. And, you know, let's be real. Kobe hasn't played the last two years, three years, basically. And I think he feels such a sense of relief because you just want it to be over. Because when you're a superstar like Shaq and Kobe, when you just can't go out there and just kick people butt every night, it's a different animal. Yes, it is a different animal. I could attest to that. You know, when I was in Boston, averaging six points, it just didn't feel right. <laughs> you have been six points. Yeah, Boston. six points. Well, wow. that's four more than you had. That's two no, more than you had in the, in, in no, the, in no, the no, tournament. I was playing with, was playing <laughs> with Ray Allen, Paul, and, and no, but that, that, yeah, that's that would be a humbling. My job was just to set picks and get rid wow. of. So like when I at the end of the game, I look at the stat sheet, six point. It didn't feel right. So when right. I told my Achilles actually a year early, I was like, you know, I'm not coming back. And Chuck, you're right. It was a relief. But after that. It was different, because like I would wake up at 9 or 10 and not have anything to do. No <laughs> phone calls, no, no anything. So I was doing stuff that I never did before. Like I'd go out and get the paper in my house coat and talk to the <laughs> just have a good time. I, never. You know, get my boat and go fishing. I, I was like bored. I was like, you know, I was like you know, really and, bored. And that's what's going to be interesting for me for Kobe. 
Next so, chapter. Yeah, because he don't have any hobbies. Like, you know, you see celebrities all the time doing something uh, away from the game. I've never seen Kobe in any, like, oh, Kobe Bryant was at the beach one day. Yeah. Kobe Bryant was fishing one day. Kobe Bryant was playing golf one day. I'm and, sure he has hobbies. I know that, but I'm saying, but you have you ever seen, you know, like, you see, oh, Michael Jordan's playing golf. Oh, you see Paul George is fishing. You know, mm -hmm. uh, or, or guys, you see, like, oh, he's surfing in Hawaii. I've never seen Kobe. And the thing that guys have to realize is he's only 40 years old. He's not even 40. But you retire at such a young age, you got to find something to do with that spare time. That's what's going to be interesting to me in well, Kobe's we, second we, chapter. Well, I'm going to put it out there right now. Shaq, Ernie, Kenny, Chuck, slide over. Kobe Bryant on the end. <laughs> the Jackson 5 right there. You know what? First of all, I'm going to go out on a limb right here. I don't care what David Levy says. <laughs> Kobe, I'm looking right into that camera right there. If you want a job at TNT, you got it. Don't worry about David Levy. Ernie Johnson run things around here in Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> but let me tell you something. He's second in command. If you want a job at Turner Sports, just let us know. We, we got you. Make room we make making room, man. That was the Jackson. That you was, could imagine our show with him. That was a very interesting <laughs> conversation. I think one of the one of the things I did not anticipate hearing out of that whole thing was that Shaq owns a house coat. Uh, 